Tonight, South Haven city leaders now have a plan in front of them to bring lifeguards back to their Lake Michigan beaches. 13 on your side's Kiara Patterson is here with details. Juliet, the city hasn't had lifeguards along the shoreline for more than 20 years and residents say that's why drownings have increased. One in 18 million drown on a guarded beach. Um, so you can imagine how many were, are drowning on an unguarded beach. On Monday night, the South Haven City Council discussed a plan to reintroduce lifeguards to South Haven's beaches. Here in South, the city of South Haven, we actually had lifeguards for over 50 years, and there were only two drownings during that time um, with zero lawsuits. So now since we've not had lifeguards, there's been 12 drownings, and we've had three or four lawsuits because of those. The South Haven City Council recently voted to appoint a resident Heather Johnson to create a lifeguard plan. Johnson has witnessed four South Haven drownings and says this was the main reason why she got involved with the lifeguard plan. Like I'm a local here and I'm I'm tired of seeing all of this so I'm going to get up and do something about it. So I, I just created this nonprofit to be able to go out and do beachside education and go from towel to towel talking to people about what rip currents are what longshore currents and structural currents and offshore winds are so that way they can mitigate those risks in order to enjoy the lake um, safely. Several city council members say bringing lifeguards back is a priority. It's a move water safety advocates, including Lisa McDonald, the mother of a drowning victim, says is overdue and needed at more beaches. I say uh, lifeguards should not be seen as a liability or luxury. Rather, they should be seen as a priority and a responsibility. The towns are um, bringing these people in, they're making a lot of money on these people, um, and people don't understand the powers of Lake Michigan. And I think it's uh, the cities along Lake Michigan's responsibilities to protect those tourists so that they can keep coming back years after year after year and, and enjoy the lake. McDonald's daughter drowned at South Haven Beach in 2022. According to the Great Lakes Surf Rescue Project, seven people have drowned in Lake Michigan while swimming at South Haven area beaches since 2019. One woman who comes here often says she agrees with the lifeguard plan. Um, you know, Lake Michigan is beautiful, but there is, can be very dangerous. And there's so many visitors who might not know the dangers. So lifeguards would be really welcomed here. No decision on lifeguards was made at tonight's meeting, but the council is considering the plan. In the newsroom, Kiara Patterson, 13 on your side.